All right, guys, so we're out here in some pretty heavy corn residue today. Uh, it's November the 3rd, I believe, and uh, we're running the 5200. <clears throat> I did a video on this tool the other day, and uh, right now we're going to see it in live action. But check out this line from the heavy residue to where this 5200 just ran. We'll turn this thing around and check out the dirt, see what we can do. You see how long that tool is from front to back and you can kind of get a good glimpse right there of all that dirt mixing <laughs> that does several things it's what allows us to bury those stalks down low and it's also what keeps our clod size pretty minimal um, and then the harrows on the back are responsible for our side to side leveling uh, which you know if you look for how much residue we're working and how deep we're going this field's extremely level i mean uh it, it wouldn't be anything to come in here like i said and, and hit it quick with one pass in the spring and plant into this it's gonna you know obviously overwinter really well we've got stalks and stuff buried all throughout this soil profile we're obviously we won't have any blowing here <clears throat> we're getting them chewed up and uh it's a beautiful finish for right after the the combine uh to get these stalks starting to break down and chewed up look at that that's gonna decompose so well over the winter so the 5200 enforcer doing a great job uh here in ohio working down some high residue stalks let's go check out these stalks and see what we got <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, just a, a thick, heavy mat of residue. Um, there's a lot of stuff here to bury. That's a lot to ask of a tool. Look at that line right there where he's running. That's pretty impressive out of a, a one pass uh, fall tillage tool to be able to go, you know, five, six inches deep and just manage that layer. I've talked a lot about uh, managing the layer and not running uh, points through the ground to, to lose that bottom. We're going to keep a firm bottom here in this situation. Your planter and, and other attachments and equipment won't sink in the spring. Uh, it's going to it's going to keep it up on top. So nice job, and uh, that's what we're doing today. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, yeah, that stuff is anywhere from a half inch deep all the way down to five, six inches of depth. We've got all that residue just chewed up, buried in contact with the soil. And that stuff just will not last long when it's buried in there like that. It'll break down and all those nutrients that are locked up in that high residue corn are going to get returned back into the ground in an efficient manner whenever they're surrounded uh, and buried in the soil. Like this. So, great job by the 5200 and uh, thanks for tuning in.